still, eh? Yeah, he's got coverage on the entire street. Can we just go a different way? We've been here for two days. I know, I know. But to our left is the main highway, and to our right are the slums. Both are getting hammered non-stop. Well, I hate to be that guy, but this is all we've got. Even if we ration this to the max, it'll only last us two, maybe three days. And that's if we conserve our energy. Hutch, we need food. Yeah, I got you. How'd you figure that out anyways? You were a scout. I was a quartermaster, and a good one too. Alright. Well, I'll try to scout us up some food. If I'm not back in a few hours, just don't worry about it. You are all fucked up. Seriously, this is not sustainable. If they don't want to follow the rules, then they shouldn't get to steal what little food we have left from us. Point taken, Cohen. Point taken. And now that we're using these drones? Man, they don't stand a fucking chance. Going somewhere? You know, Cohen. You really were made for this shit. Aw, oh, thanks, Sarge. That means a lot to me. Sure. No problem. Hold on, everybody. I've got it. Found this little bastard listening in on you guys. Didn't seem too eager to stick around. Look, I... I was just looking for food. I didn't mean to interfere in any of your operations. Really? Well, isn't that just so nice of you? I'm just trying to obey the bullet. I can't go outside, so I've been hiding where I can. Oh. You've tried to obey the bulletin. Well, aren't you just the perfect little citizen? Think very carefully about what you say next. Because I know damn well nobody obeyed that bulletin. So tell me, who are you? And what exactly are you doing here? All right, all right. I was just looking for a bite to eat. I've been trying to make my way into the metro, join up with the loyalists. Uh-huh. You do realize you're walking through the front lines right now, right? Yeah, well, I guess I didn't realize how bad it was. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Lower your gun, Christensen. He admitted to breaking the bulletin, sir. We could ice him right here. Nah, I figure we wait a while. See what he has to say. Fine. I didn't even realize it was my CO until I woke up in the holding cell the next morning. <laughs> yeah, that would do it. They did not fuck around back then. Yeah, no doubt. After that, I knew the scouts were bad for my health. Yeah, 
Well, thanks to you, we still got quite a few drones to use against these fuckers. Yeah, we got these kick-ass trackers we toss at hardpoints, connects to a scalpel, and we get to sit back and watch. Easy ass. You guys really have those? Well, you'd think the eggheads upstairs wouldn't want to use them, but I guess all the real bad ones are still in storage. You... <laughs> you think they'd use them? I mean, depends on how things go. If they pull out the ones that fucked up the world last time, nukes, EMPs... Well, there isn't much sense in fighting then, is there? Well, I should probably go. Get back on the trail. Hold on there, friend. What? You tell a good story, but you can't just be walking away after this. You're gonna have to stay with us until we head back to the metro. I... Uh, come on. It's not that big a deal. I'll be out of your hair and we can all just move on. Sit. Down. Now. Don't do anything you'll regret. I'd hate to put a bullet in you. Shit! Cover! Go in! Keep track of our gas! Hey! Sir, he's gone! We'll find him later. Get the tracker! Who'd you have to kill for this? <laughs> Just got lucky, I guess. Yeah, well, glad you made it back. Me too, Ray. And the sniper moved on. Saw a guy cross a few hours ago. A little bit of good luck, you know? Yeah. We just might make it. 